guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial for you guys. It's on this look right here. A lot of you guys have been snapping me, asking me to do an affordable makeup look for the fall time. So this is what I came up with. A lot of products that I use cannot be found in drugstores, but they are very inexpensive. I did use a little bit of Morphe brushes. The only places you guys could find Morphe brushes if you are in California or in the LA area is um, Burbank, the actual store. Or if you are like in um, Downey area, they do have a store called Vanity Box. Um, you guys can find a lot of Morphe there. I've never been to the store, but I know they do sell um, Morphe brushes there. That store is very close to me actually, um, but I've never been there. I always, I've been once to the Burbank store, but I usually just buy Morphe off online because um, Burbank is a little bit far. It's like, it's like a 40 minute drive for me. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how I create this look, then just keep on watching. We are going to start off doing our foundation. I did prime and moisturize my face before applying my foundation. I will leave all that down in the bottom bar if you guys are interested. I did mix two foundations together just to get my perfect shade um, because I did use one and then it was a little bit too light so I did have to mix another one. And I did use my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade. No, 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 I did forget the shades, but I will leave them down below. Um, and then for concealer, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. I do like applying this one first because it does have like a, like a little peachy um, orange tone to it. Um, and it does help me cancel out my dark circles. And then to brighten up under my eyes, I do apply a little bit of Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10, which is light. And then I will be blending all that out using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I do have a lot of these sponges, so I do use one for my foundation, one for my concealer, and I do use a clean one to mix my, to blend my foundation and my concealer together. So there won't be like a harsh line between them. And then I'm going to be setting my concealer and I'm blending out the creases first. And then I'm going to be applying that translucent powder right away under my eyes. This will help the foundation, the concealer not to crease and not to have those very pronounced um, fine lines that you normally have under your eyes. And then I'm going to be blending out my forehead um, expression lines because I do have very pronounced um, expression lines and they do tend to crease on me so I do like to blend them out and conceal them, not conceal them, um, set them with translucent powder. And then I'm going to be um, sculpting my brows first. I do like to um, sculpt them with concealer before filling them in. I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Natural. And then once I sculpt my brows, I do bring all that um, concealer down and use it as um, a primer because I do have very oily lips. And obviously concealer has like this technology not to crease. And it helps my shadows to stay on very, 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 very well and all day because I've used a lot of primers and they all tend to crease on me. Then I'm going to be grabbing that same translucent powder and just set lightly on the concealer that I did apply all over my lids just for um, all the shadows will blend amazing. Then going into my favorite palette for fall, which is obviously my favorite palette all year long, I'm going to be grabbing that shade I pointed at and I'm going to be blending this directly into my crease. This is going to act as my transition shade. I don't know what brush I use but as always I will leave it down below if you guys are interested. And I'm just going to be blending this all over my lid. This could be really messy. This is just going to act as my transition shade. Then going back into that Morphe 35O palette, I'm going to be grabbing that dark um, chocolate brown. As obviously you guys know, I love that color because I already get pat on it. So I'm so sad because I love that color. I'm going to be concentrating this in my outer corner and slowly blending it into my crease. This is going to give my eye a little bit more different definition because I don't have very pronounced crease. I do have like a slightly mono lid. Um, I don't have a crease, so I do have to give my eye a little bit more dimension just to make my eyes look a little bit more... I like my making my eyes my eyelid look a little bit more smaller, even though a lot of people do like bigger lids, but not on me. And then I'm gonna be grabbing those three oranges in the 35O palette, and I'm gonna be blending it into my outer corner just to bring that warmth back to my eyes. Um, I did apply a little bit too much color, but 
it's okay we do go back and forth blending it out and i do like the end result um just make sure just don't apply too much color because it can't go wrong right away then going back into the 35 o palette i'm gonna be grabbing that reddish shimmery shade and i'm gonna be applying this all over my lid this is an amazing color this i thought it wasn't gonna have like that much pigment this actually is the first time i used this color on myself i did use it on a client once and i love the way it looked and it's amazing then going back to the 35 o palette i'm gonna be grabbing that light shimmer shade and i'm just gonna be applying this in the center of my eye just to give that eyelid a little bit more dimension and it'll look more like live and not so flat on my lids and i'm just gonna be applying this directly onto the center of my eyelid then before I apply my falsies, I do like to fill in my brows just in case I do have to clean them up with concealer and I won't put concealer on my lashes. And I'm, as always, I am using my Jordana Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I do like to um, outline my brows with the brow pencil first and then fill them up with powder. But I didn't feel like using powder today, so I just filled my entire brow using that brow pencil. And I actually like the way it looks. And then I'm going to be highlighting my brows using that white shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. That's like my best highlighting shade. I already hit pan on it. It sucks. I hate hitting pan on my shadows. All my favorite shadows. Then I'm going to be applying a white liner just to open up my eyes in my waterline. And I'm using my gel eyeliner by LA Girl Cosmetics. I think they're called Glide Liners, Glide Liners, I think, or something like that, in the shade white. And I'm just going to be applying this all directly into my waterline. And then going back into the 35 O palette and grabbing that chocolate brown I love. And I'm going to be concentrating this as close as I can to my lower lash line. I don't want this look to be so smoky in my lower lash line. So I'm just going to be concentrating it in my lower lash line with a small angled brush. As always, I will leave the numbers down below if you guys are interested. Then I'm going to be going back into the 35 O palette and grabbing that first shade I use as my transition shade and just blending that um, dark brown shade slightly. Don't bring it down so much because this is like a more non-dramatic look. Um, if you do start smoking it out, it's going to be a little bit more dramatic. And then once I'm finished um, blending it out, as always, you do want to apply mascara and I'm using my Maybelline Volumin Express Cat Eye Mascara and I'm going to be applying mascara to my bottom and top lashes then when I finish doing that the fun part is putting on false lashes I did find these false lashes off Amazon um, I used to buy them on Wish but then I went back to um, put the link down below on my description box and they were gone off Amazon like what are these people thinking like these are my favorite lashes and they're gone and I'm trying to share them with my subscribers like seriously then I'm gonna be applying a little bit of powder not too much because the Maybelline Fit Me foundation is already matte and if you do apply a lot of powder it can kind of get a little bit too cakey but I do want to set my face because I am a little bit really 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 oily so I'm just gonna be patting that around my face a little bit then I'm gonna be grabbing the LA Girl Pro Face Powder in the shade Rome Warm Caramel and start bronzing my entire face. And I'm using a different brush today. I'm not using the Morphe 527. I am using the Real Techniques. I think it's a blush brush. And it was actually really amazing. And I like the way it applied color to my cheekbones and my forehead. Then to give my uh, hollows in my cheeks a little bit more definition, as always, I'm using my Makeup Beat Contour Powders. In the shade of warm caramel. No, it's not warm caramel. It's half hearted and complicated. I got the Ellie Girl and the Make Me Tim. I'm confused. Then I'm gonna be blending and blending it just to give my hollows and my cheeks a little bit more definition because I am a big girl and I like to have a snatched cheekbone. Then grabbing that same bronzer powder brush that I use and I'm gonna be blending all the edges just to make sure I don't have a harsh edge. Then I'm going to be highlighting with this LA Girl Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade 50 Watts. Um, these highlighters are amazing. They made me put down my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow. I've been using that kit for so long, but when these came out, um, it changed my mind. Like, I love these highlighters, and they're so inexpensive. If you buy them online, I think they are $9, but if you buy them in your local beauty supply store, I think they're $6. I think I bought it for $6. If not, it was like $7, but it was not $9. So, um, 
So then I'm going to be lining my entire lip using this Italia Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Hot Cocoa. I'm just going to be using that liner for this tutorial. Then I'm going to be setting my entire face using this matte setting spray by City Color Cosmetics. And the look is done. Well guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that red button down below that says subscribe. Help me reach all the people in the world. Um, please don't forget to like my video. That will help me up a lot. And leave me comments down below on what videos would you like to see on my channel. All the products used and mentioned in this video will be down in my description box. As always in all my videos. Also on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat will be down below and linked so you guys can follow me there. You guys will find me more on Snapchat and Instagram, a little bit on Twitter, but Facebook is like very hard for me to go on because I'm like so over Facebook right now. So you guys can find me on the other three except Facebook. I'm trying to get into Facebook. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.